So up next, I want to change how our posts look. At this point in time, we have a simple list of posts, but I want to add a card. So for each post, it will have a card, which will have a picture, the title of the post, and a description. So let's think about how we could achieve that. Well, we can create a new partial, and the partial will allow us to then use this feature over and over for as many posts that there are inside of our ghost database. So let's make a partial, and that partial will be called post underscore card dot HBS. So we'll add an article tag, as that will suggest that this is an article. And then to use the Bulma card, we can have a div with the class of card image. We'll also have a div with the class of card content. And we'll start off with the card image. So here we're introduced to the if tag. So what we want to do at this point is check to see whether we have the card image to start with. We could either put it inside of the div and then maybe we want to show a placeholder image if there is no image with the article. Or alternatively, we could put it outside of the div and not show the card image class at all. This is entirely up to you and I suggest that you play around with both ways and you come up with your own design. So we're going to use the double curly braces again, and this time we are going to use a hashtag. This is going to allow us to say hashtag if, and this is going to be a conditional statement. So we're only going to show this piece of HTML if the following is true. So if we have a feature image, then we show this HTML, and we show that we no longer want to use this if tag by using slash if, inside of these braces. So then we can use a figure and we can give this the class of image and also is dash and if you want to use 16 by 9 or a different ratio for example 4 by 3 we could do and we can stick the image inside of here with the source equal to feature underscore image. We can give this the alt tag of something like title, and this would be the post title. So to check that this works, I'm gonna save the file, and then over at our index.hbs, instead of having this h1 inside of the for each, I'm going to comment that out, and instead I want to do a for each over the post card. So that can be done with the greater than sign, and we want to use the post card template, so when we refresh the page, you should be able to see these three images. And that reflects the fact that we have three cards, all of which have images. So we're of course showing these images here on screen. This is good news for us because at the moment we've done everything correctly and we are showing the cards. So back over to our post card. And now we can fill out the card content. At this point, we may want to have another if. This time we want to check to see whether the author.profile underscore image exists. And this is once again up to you. It depends whether you want to show the author's image. If you do, we can have a div with the class of media. We can then have another div with the class of media left. And what this allows us to do is appropriately set our image to the left of the card. Inside of the card, we can then have a figure with the class of image. And this time we are going to use is dash 48 times 48. This is going to set us a 48 pixel by 48 pixel image in which then we can display our author dot profile underscore image. Our alt tag could be profile image. And if we refresh our page, you'll notice that at this moment in time, we don't have an author image. Let's go ahead and upload one by navigating to our local host slash ghost. And I'm going to make this a little larger. And now under team, we can add an image for our user. If I hit edit picture and I select a picture from my device, I should then be able to hit save. 
We can go ahead and do it for the ghost user as well. So you can do it for your user and ghost, and that will allow the initial default posts to have your image or perhaps a different image. And your user, the one that you created with this instance of ghost to also have potentially the same image or a different image. So make sure you upload an image for both users. And when we do that, you can see that we then have this image associated with that post. So what's the next thing to do? Well, the next thing that we need to do is add some content to our card. So this is underneath our if block and we want to have a div with the class of content. And inside of here, we want to display some form of description about the post. So that will be good for a paragraph tag. And we can then determine whether a description exists. And what this means is that when we actually publish a post with ghost, we can add our own meta description. If we elect not to do that, it will use the first set of characters up until the amount that we specify. So we can add our own custom description or it will simply use the characters from the post. So maybe something like the first paragraph. So let's determine with if whether the meta description is available. If it is, then we want to display the meta description. And here we're introduced to this else keyword for the first time. And this allows us to display a conditional other piece of information. So if it doesn't exist, so if we haven't put our own meta description instead, we want to show the excerpt, but we want to cap the words at 40. Now you can cap it a different amount if you want. It's entirely up to you and whatever you elect to do for your theme. And at the end of our excerpt, I like to add some ellipses to simply show that there's more to this post. We can then end our conditional if block. And when we save and refresh, we now have a card that has some information about the post, but we are missing a title. So let's then put the title above this content block. We'll put it perhaps as a H1 with title as the text. If we quickly save and look, we can see our title is then added to the card, but we need to give this a class of title. And I'll also give this is dash four. This will allow us to size our title appropriately. And perhaps next, we may want to show the author and when they published this post. So this one would be another paragraph and we could do that underneath the excerpt. And we can state that we want to display the author. And if we give this a quick refresh, you can see that we have ghost and that's because the current author of these posts are ghost. We could then display the tags. So this would be ghost getting started. So people would be able to select this tag. After displaying the tags, we then want to show the time. And we can pass through at this point, the current date. So we can bind to the date here inside of this time block. So now we have the author's name, we have the current tag and the current date, which that was posted. What I'm going to do now is say that the author posted this in the tags section. So in getting started, and we could then add on to that. So effectively we are saying Paul Halliday posted in getting started on October the 2nd, 2017. And you can change that however you like. It's entirely up to you. But now if we make this a little larger, you can see that it's not quite practical at this point because the pictures are taking up the entire screen. But nonetheless, you can see that we now have these three cards. And this has shown us information about our post. If we select all the posts, you'll notice that we then get this next page, which gives us a new set of posts. This is of course zoomed in quite a bit, but you can see when we zoom out, we get a similar effect. So I'm relatively happy with our cards. I think it works well with our application. We may need to add some padding and I think we'll need to add some columns to display more than one section of cards. 
Let's take a look at that in the coming lectures.